So if you guys have seen any of my other videos about Jersey City, you know how much I actually love Jersey City. So it might come across as strange because I'm a New York City real estate agent, but fun fact, I actually got started in real estate in Jersey City and I used to live there as well. Jersey City is a gigantic city. So it's actually kind of crazy that this city is so big and also right outside of New York City. Like I feel like that's very underrated. And as I always say, there's so much to do in Jersey City that you honestly don't really have to leave Jersey City. Now you're so close to New York City, why wouldn't you? But at the same time, if you really didn't want to leave your neighborhood, you you can probably just stay in Jersey City and have everything you ever needed right there. So if you are in downtown Jersey City, you are so close to downtown Manhattan, it's actually unbelievable. If you take the PATH train, and the PATH is the subway that connects New Jersey to New York, if you take that train into New York City, from downtown Jersey City, you're about 10 minutes away. So, so sometimes train delays are a real thing, even in Jersey. But if it's just a regular train ride from Jersey City to Manhattan, it's gonna be about 10 minutes. Now, like I said, Jersey City is very big, so it's definitely not gonna be 10 minutes to get from anywhere in Jersey City to Manhattan. So overall, I would say from most areas of Jersey City, if you were to drive from that furthest point of Jersey City to Manhattan, downtown Manhattan, it would probably take you about 20 to 25 minutes without traffic. Without traffic is the key word because it's, it's the New York City area and there's always traffic. Tunnel traffic, the tunnels connecting New Jersey and New York City are absolutely no joke. The downtown area of Jersey City is actually made up of a lot of smaller little neighborhoods as well. And a lot of people don't know the different breakdowns of the neighborhood. In another video, I'll go into more detail about the actual neighborhoods within Jersey City. So now I'm going to jump to another area of Jersey City that's actually outside of the downtown area, but also pretty close to New York City as well. And that's going to be Journal Square. Now, Journal Square is a area that major developments are going into this neighborhood and they're really trying to build it up as like the next trendy spot in Jersey City. Now, if, if you're riding the PATH train, you have your downtown Jersey City stops, but then the next stop further out is going to be Journal Square. Overall, this entire city is extremely cultural and diverse and you can honestly find like almost any different like ethnic food you can possibly imagine in somewhere in Jersey City. What are some of the different ways that you can get into Manhattan from Jersey City? So like I mentioned, you can take the path, which is that subway connecting Jersey and New York City. So by car to get into Manhattan specifically, you will have to go through the tunnel, which is most likely going to be the Holland Tunnel. It's going to be the way that you're going into Manhattan directly. Now you can also get to Manhattan by ferry. So there's actually a ferry in Jersey City connecting to lower Manhattan. And then you can also get in by bus. Now the only thing you consider when you're going to the city by bus, is that you will get caught in traffic depending on what time of day you're going in. There was a time in my life that I lived in New Jersey and relied on bus transportation to get into Manhattan. And I definitely had to leave early to get to my job, that's for sure. Depending on where you live in Jersey City, I would say the quickest way to get into Manhattan is definitely gonna be the path. Jersey City also has a light rail, which is kind of like a monorail that connects Jersey City to other towns on the Jersey City coast. That light rail doesn't run into New York City at all. It just connects the other Jersey towns and neighborhoods. So. As I said in the beginning of this video, Jersey City is very close to downtown Manhattan and so close to downtown Manhattan that you are actually closer to that area living in Jersey City than you would be if you were living in uptown or even some areas of midtown Manhattan, which is kind of crazy to think about. So I would say in Jersey City as a whole, there's decent parking options, especially when you're comparing it to New York City as a whole because New York City parking is absolutely horrible. If you park in a parking garage in Jersey City, it's definitely gonna be way cheaper than it is in New York City. However, if you're coming from a place where you never had to pay for a parking garage before, to 200 plus to $300 plus range is gonna be kind of like a sticker shock to you, but that's actually a good price here. In Manhattan, it's going to be double or triple that, to be honest with you. When it comes to street parking, I would say, especially if you're downtown in Jersey City, it's not very good, but it really isn't good anywhere around New York City as a whole, just because there's just so many people at all times. And they have to do a lot of street cleaning, which makes sense. I've definitely got my fair share of Jersey City parking tickets. So one of my favorite parts about Jersey City is the views of Manhattan. The views of downtown Manhattan from this neighborhood is absolutely incredible. To this day, I actually love like going to Jersey City sometimes, literally just to like dine or just like look at the view of Manhattan. I'm in Manhattan every day, but the one thing that sucks about being in Manhattan every day is that I don't get the view of Manhattan, I just get a view of what I'm in. So I do like getting outside of the city and seeing that view. And that's the one thing I loved about living in Jersey City. So because the views are so amazing, you're also going to pay the price for it if you have a apartment with a waterfront view. So I would say apartments in Jersey City are still much less expensive than pretty much all Manhattan neighborhoods. And also there's a so much new construction in Jersey City because the city really had like a whole like renaissance period over the past like 20 years just so so many new apartments have been popping up and are still popping up to this day and on top of that so not only do you have really really good views of the like skyline of Manhattan but you also have waterfront views too of the Hudson River so if you live outside of downtown Jersey City or outside of Journal Square because those are two separate neighborhoods if you live in another area of Jersey City I do recommend you have a car or have access to a car because it may be a little difficult to 
to rely on the light rail or the bus systems to get around. You can do it. And I have definitely seen people do that. And I definitely have seen people live there without a car. However, putting myself in my shoes, if I were to live in other areas of Jersey City without a car, it might've been a little frustrating at times. So I hope this helped you figure out a couple things that you should know before moving to Jersey City. Again, I love Jersey City and I don't think that that love for Jersey City will truly ever die. Now, if there's anything that I missed in this video, please let me know because as always, I love hearing from you guys in the comments.